How's it going everybody? This is the update video for 60334 and we came out here in a new area so we could find the new origin that's not significant. Uh, so let's go through the basic things that we have first here. Uh, there was a fix for Rotary Craft Sinister Tungsten. It is now its own material. Uh, if I can spell tungsten, because I forgot the G. Uh, so there should be... Uh, let's find ingots here. There we go. Tungsten ingot. Uh, tungsten carbide. Since centered tungsten, I guess. And because we don't have it, we don't have a way of making it, because we don't have rotary craft. So now you can't just use tungsten from Greg Tech. You actually have to go through the proper rotary craft stuff to make it. Uh, let's see. And added ways to turn it into the inferior and simpler regular tungsten. So uses for this should show a way of combining it to make tungsten steel. Roll former sharpener, rolling mill, shredder. So you shred it and it makes regular tungsten. Smelting it will turn it into regular tungsten as well. And generifier will generify it into the regular tungsten. Uh, fix the psi and sense now actually works on tall grass. Um, and it actually works for getting the new stuff, which I will show you here. You can do that, and now you get this dried grass stuff, which is usable here in a little bit. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Now, this should do a 3x3. Three three. Let's see. Yeah, see, it does a 3x3. Three three. All right. And fix the liquid gas burning boxes not saving their tank data automatic properly. Um, did you test that out earlier, Skyra? And it is working properly now. It works. Okay, cool. Um, I haven't. I hadn't gotten time to check it out yet. So he actually was needing it to work. So. Let him do that checking for me. Uh, wooden creosote bur buckets not working with immersive engineering installed despite railcraft delivering a fluid block. Uh, we don't have IE in here, so I can't test that. I'll have to test that tomorrow when we do the uh, Bears Den GT6. Uh, decided to remove the easier distillery fuel plastic recipes again which I'm happy about because he kept telling me that he wasn't adding it because he wasn't ever going to have that recipe and then he goes and adds it um, why can I not find a plastic okay there's a plastic pulp so you'll see now that to get it you have your distillery distillation tower and that is it no distillery recipe uh, let's see remove the existence of certain dust like wrought iron dust annealed copper dust and the magnetic dusts that was because of a uh, bug in the system where you could actually uh, manipulate those dust to get infinite of other materials Thank you to Skyra for finding that, by the way. Uh, matches and matchboxes now have a 90% chance like the Bic lighter does. So they're not going to be a one light every time. Uh, change the shapes now, or scraps now stack to 18. So they'll be easier to get your uh, two dust out of one instead of them being stacked to 16. Uh, 
added a bun, bread, baguette, and cake bottom shapes for the forming press. Yes, they are called molds. That way people can say I added bread mold to the game. And he actually told me that, and I thought Crazy was going to lose her mind because I thought that it was going to actually mold up her bread that she stockpiles. So, let's see. Bread dough. Still have your shapeless recipe, but now you have food mold for bread and you can see it's a different colored mold so it's going to be a different material and just because crazy loves it so much it's made out of a double stainless steel plate because well it's food and it needs to be sanitary so you need this stainless steel material but crazy's going to love it because <laughs> she loves her stainless steel so you now have you know all these different ones to make the baguettes the breads the buns and stuff in the forming press so you don't have to use the a auto crafter to do the shapeless recipe like we I have for the auto crafter. <laughs> just because you got to make stainless steel yep. uh, let's see uh, added the lathe can now turn flawed and chip gems into bolts directly, which is awesome. Gives them more of a use. Simple fire starters are added, made of two sticks and dry grass. Crap, I asked you for a stick. I need two more sticks. Do you got any more? All right, yep, so we're going to turn this into a knife just to show that early in the game this is the way you're going to get your dry grass um, or you can use a sword as well and then you just take this here and you got to throw it in here and it and it will turn into the dry grass once this thing gets done here if anybody's oh wait a minute I got fuel there so here's the dry grass and let's see if we can figure this recipe out here well that's how you make a torch out of it dry grass on one stick so let's see here usage okay it's shaped and it's that way probably the only way I didn't actually try so there's our fire starter so you can use this it can light things on fire remaining uses once and chances 50 percent so you might have to make a couple of these but now you're not going to have to go out and kill zombies or find jasper to make your first flint and tinder you can make one of these your first day and start making your burning box and crucible instead of waiting through the night to try to find things to do it and it should just be like anything else you click it on the ground and it makes the flint and steel noise and goes away because it has one use uh, let's see added some new world gen that's the oil I was talking about which we will check out at the end of the video here. Um, added grass and dry grass item, which we just talked about a little bit. Didn't think it, I would write so much about simple grass. Dropped by swords, knives, size, senses when harvesting vanilla grass and ferns. Dead bushes will drop sticks with those tools. Can be used to fed sheep, cow, horses, but not pigs so since we're on this sheep island here we will show that it can definitely be used as wheat to produce baby sheepses yes Greg sheepses is a word um, let's see but only in my dictionary is sheeps is a word all right so oil that is what we have here so some new world gen nothing crucial it's just oil nothing major and we actually 
made another portal to get out here and decided to we came in actually that cave right there but we decided to build this to get there a lot quicker and easier uh, let's see it is a finite fluid in the sense of it actually flows down by itself and can be uh, let's see and can be filled partially which you'll see when we get over here it's the easiest to use universal cells only works on full blocks so I made a universal cell here so you can see this here is like a partial block I can't pick that up but if I come over here I can pick that one up we tried this with a bucket it definitely does not work with a bucket so um, you want to throw me that bucket and I'll try it I'm actually going to do it a little different here I'm going to take this one that I have just to guarantee that it fills only a block put it back down and you can see you cannot get it all right, so pick it back up, and this is medium oil. There are different grades of oil. Throw that back to crazy before I forget to give it to her. Uh, let's see. Uh, generates also oil springs if it's close enough to bedrock. Those are random and have an average speed of one bucket per Minecraft day that can be turned off via config. Um, the different oils are light, medium, and heavy. And you can also use a drain for these, which is what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm not going to guarantee this is going to work well, but I'm going to attempt it. Hopefully I do not find lava. So this can go all the way down to bedrock. All right, so here's bedrock. I want to find this right here that is below bedrock. So this should do what I need to do. Uh, we're going to put a drain right here and let the oil flow right over top of it. And then I brought some extra pipes. We're going to take these. And I'm going to go straight up here with the pipes. That way we make sure it doesn't, because I'm not sure exactly how much is there. And I don't want to get the uh, drum stuck. So I want to take this up a little bit here. Do I have some more of them scaffold? No. So we'll just use dirt over here. All right. So somebody apparently poked a hole in it already. All right. That's the surface right there. But I'm not going all the way to the surface because I only have two pipes left. And, and let's get this one out of here. Jump up, put that there. Open that there. Grab the drum, put it right there. And hit the oil flow and right here. All right. And now that should drain all of that right into that drain. Which pipe's closed? Um, the stuff... Hey, Greg, your oil doesn't work like... Uh, the other oils. It doesn't stick you. It needs to have some viscosity to it, man. So which pipe is uh, needing fix, man? Let me come down on the back side of it where the oil's not. Oh, okay, there it is. All right. We getting oil up there now? 
Oh, yes. All right. Awesome. Um, why is it not pouring out? Okay, there we go. Just had to reactivate it, I guess. And now it's going right in there. So hopefully Greg will see this video and add some viscosity to his oil. Because that's something I love about Billcraft oil. Is the fact that you try to swim in it and it kills you because you can't swim in oil. And you'll see it's starting to drain out. I'm sure there's going to be more than that drum's worth down there. So we're probably not going to get this all out, but I'll just leave the drain set up and uh, come back with more drums and let it fill. But you can see it's filling right up nicely, spilling right in there. So that's going to be your easy early way of doing it. Um, I also want to bring a pump out and try it with a pump sometime from like Buildcraft. I believe it should work. Um, and, uh, Skyra believes it won't because it doesn't have a bucket, bucket version or a full block version. But I will test that out later. Um, so that's your update video for this week. Thanks everybody for helping me come out here and find the oil when you look at the oil it says gt.block.fluid.oil.medium.name does it are you using the Walia or are you using the uh, NEI because I can't see anything uh, Walia I think uh, let me try the NEI one because uh, Walia is not telling me shit show oh wait a minute you probably have the fluid turned on hold on i forgot uh, just tell me where i'm standing and looking at the oil uh where's it liquids hidden okay liquids visible yep there we go greg tech block fluid oil medium name so that means greg didn't put the localization or whatever it is sky or uh uh oh. Spiker told me about. Does it burn? Well, that's a good idea. Um, crazy got two more sticks so I can make a another fire starter. I actually might need. Oh, you got a flint and tinder. That. What am I doing? I got a bick. See if this shit burns. Now that definitely should be burning it, right? It's right next to it, and fire spreads. So, Greg, your shit don't burn. Greg, fix your oil. It doesn't burn. How are we supposed to make fuel out of a fluid that don't burn? Rude. The drum is full. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. So, anybody else got any questions they think I need to test in this? Or are we out of here for the day? Does this oil work like like IHL water? Um, that it flows down? Yes, that's the finite um, thing, that it will flow down all the way to bedrock. Somebody has the drum. Ah, there's the drum. And then let's go ahead and look real quick at processing for this. It's raw oil that's burnable. Distillation tower 50 in will give you 50 out for flute for fuel, 25 for diesel, kerosene, butane, propane, petrol, and 50 for lubricant, and then the same 50% for that. So let's see. The heavy oil is going to be 60 liters, 80 liters for fuel and lubricant. And then 30 for petrol, 15 for propane, butane, 35 for kerosene, and 35 for diesel. Um, very heavy, which I don't think Greg adds a very heavy, but he might. I thought when I read it, because it doesn't actually say in here, but I do in the changelog, but I do believe he said he added light, medium, and heavy. Very heavy would be um, 
compatibility for another mod, I do believe. Um, so that's 70 and 100. And then 35, 10, 10, 40 and 45. There's raw oil. There's a soul sand oil. He extra heavy is in the config? Okay, thank you. So light is going to be 25 for fuel and lubricant. 15 for petrol. Propane will be 50. Butane is 50. Kerosene is 15. And diesel is 15. So it pretty much depends on what you're wanting out of it by what it's going to give you. So if you want, you know, a lot of regular fuel, you can use the regular. But if you wanted like butt tons of kerosene, you could use the light. And that would give you extra kerosene. So, that's it. Have a good one. If you have any questions, leave your comments or head over to Greg IRC or to the IC2 forum post and he will either ask, answer your questions, I will answer your questions or forward them on to him. So, have a good day.